don't really know what to say, to be honest with you. Brian means a lot to a lot of people, me included, obviously. And, and you guys meant a lot to him. And you can take it from me because I was once just like you, a, a vlog watcher, who he gave a chance. But he affects a lot of people in a lot of different ways and everybody that works here has been affected by Brian in one way or another. And we love him, so we just wanted to take a minute to let you guys know how much he meant to us. So, come here. Hi, big girl. Look at you. Come on. Hey, Pepper, don't get my binkies. Okay, girly. Man, you are getting big and heavy. I love you so much. Obviously, um, I don't even know if I can talk. So, it's a very um, emotional day. <laughs> big, we tougher than I thought. This is gonna be a very emotional day for all of us. Filming is especially hard. Brian not being here to film with us. This is a very hard thing for anybody that's been watching a long time. For anybody that doesn't know, when I was a kid, probably eight years old, I found Brian on YouTube when I had my first iPod Touch. It was, of course, old Snake Bite days and everything, and just getting to watch him every single day and being inspired by somebody to do this kind of thing. Like, obviously, back then, RJ was still a baby. So, come here. No, that's still the floor. We're still training. My family has always kind of thought I was the odd one out loving reptiles and wanting snakes and turtles and frogs, even alligators and venomous snakes when I was a kid. Still training. Salty. Grab it. Thank you. You know, I remember my dad telling me when I was a kid that you'd never make money in reptiles. And I just kept bringing up Brian's name. Well, if this guy can do it, why can't I? And I never thought I would be a part of a YouTube channel or anything like that. Come on. Up. And just the fact that I was able to be in this position to get to work for Brian and calling him a boss, the coolest experience of my life. Now that I can call him a big mentor and a friend, insane to me. And even to most of my family. Sully, come on. No. There you go. And so to be in this position and be the head keeper here and when the legacy opens is still so surreal. And I get to tell people that every single day. I work with Brian Barczyk and everybody here is just one big family. I texted Jay, where's he at and how can I see him? And I drove straight to his house, fortunate enough to be able to sit with him and he's still the same person of jokes and loving animals and he wished that he could be here every single day with us. Over the last couple days, it's really, it's really been sick in that Brian's not gonna be here for the animals for the legacy for the YouTube for you know unfortunately his family it's just so devastating Brian's been a huge part of my life even before he knew me huge inspiration and mentor and great friend I'm so grateful to be in this position and I'm gonna miss him this one's for you mr. Brian oh so close ah, that's uh. just like Brian would do it <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Every single day for the rest of ever is going to be different around here. Even walking in and seeing his office light off, you know, it just means something so different now. I've been just sitting right here and being able to see the birthday party room and knowing that we have built an education program together from the ground up that has changed the lives of so many kids and so many people and we're gonna continue to do that, you know, regardless and he's taught me everything that I know. He's He's my dad, you know, like, and I love him. And I'm not ready to go on every day here without him. I know that it's what it's what I have to do. Even sitting here with Lilo right now, it's crazy. It feels like just yesterday I was standing in the office with him and Lori, like begging to go get a sloth. It feels like just yesterday I was sitting with Big J pulling up sloths on my phone, like, look guys, we can do it. And then we were driving down to get Drogo and now here we are with Lilo and yeah, I don't really know, I don't know how it's gonna go and I don't know how we're gonna keep going without him, but we have to. So, yeah, I love you, Dad. See you soon. Honestly, it's really hard for me to put into words like all the Brian means to me. I'm gonna try, I'm probably gonna cry through this whole thing. Brian and Lori are definitely more like family to me than uh, just people I work for. So this is very hard. Brian is a great friend. And he's also my mentor. Everything I do here at the Reptarium and at BHP and eventually the Legacy, like I've either learned how to do from Brian or he has supported me and encouraged me to follow my interests. 
He's helped me out for so many times in my life. I mean, anytime like something cool happens here, like uh, maybe like a new animal hatched or was born, he was always the first person that I would run up to his office and show. We were always so excited to see like all the new, new life and everything we get to see through the breeding facility. Brian has supported me through so much and honestly he's pushed me. Like for example, I, I have so much more confidence than when I started here just from having to do all the videos. So he's helped me grow so much. <sighs> I know. Couldn't be very hard not to have him around. And to tell you guys the truth, it didn't take very long for Brian to make you feel like family. He really knew just how special a moment was. When some of you guys, his supporters, would come visit or come meet him in person, either at Animal Con or at the Reptarium, he always took so much time with each person as if you were the only person around. Even at Animal Con where there's a hundred people waiting to meet Brian, he would sit there as if you were the only one in the room. And that's very special. And that's why so many of us love him so much. So you know how hard it is to see everything that's happening. I just I just want you guys to understand just how much he loved every single one of you. I started here, I would say just a little bit over a year and a half ago. Not early on, but early on. Um, Brian was diagnosed. I'm blessed that I got to know him and that this human has crossed paths with me. But it's also a shame that I'm not going to get to know him a little bit better because even in the short amount of time that I've known Brian, he's become a very important person to me. And it sucks that these happen to good people. He's taught me a lot and in the short amount of time that I've been with him. <laughs> I don't think she likes the apples. I think they're a little too sour. I'm sorry I didn't have bananas. I've just like always been a person, I've always wanted to work with animals and I saw this opportunity and I got to meet Brian and he's given me an opportunity to do what I love. I'm sad he's not going to watch me grow more because I'm learning a lot every day. But you know, I know he'll be here in spirit. He's taught me to always take the opportunities to present that are presented to you in life. To just live every day to the fullest because... I think everyone can agree that Brian is a person who has lived more life than a lot of people. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use it in my life. He actually, um, when he got the key to the city, he pulled me aside and that's what he told me. He said, Connie, you have to like live your life to the fullest. You have to take advantage of what you've been given. I always remember that for the rest of my life. The wizard is finally coming from behind the curtain. For anyone that does not know, uh, my name is Stephanie. I've worked with uh, the Barchecks for the last nine years, and I have had the amazing privilege to climb many mountains with, uh, with Brian. It's really very hard for me to talk about, hard for everyone, but I wanted to take a moment to read you a quote that I think really encompasses the work that I've done with uh, Brian. This is a quote from Steve Jobs. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is. And your life is just to live your life inside that world. Try not to bash in to the walls too much. Try to have a nice family, have fun, save a little money. That's a very limited life. Life can be broader once you discover one simple fact. Everything around you that you call life was made by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it. You can influence it. You can build your own things that other people can use. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. We're often uh, too afraid to climb the mountain because we have been taught that it's too difficult, that we're not enough. I've climbed a lot of mountains with Brian and I can tell you firsthand it is so scary. All the way up it is, but it's worth it. So I was talking with Brian the other evening and we were joking about different business ideas and he just stopped me and he said, Stephanie, just do it. So that's what I want to tell you is if you have a dream to just do it because you need to believe you really are smart enough. You can build a beautiful team around you. You can have an amazing community of followers to support you through the whole way. And you can climb that mountain that lays before you. You can make your dreams come true and you can really change the world. Brian, I've been watching him and his vlog since I was in high school. I've always had a passion for animals ever since I was small, but Brian definitely grew my passion for reptiles and public education. And 
you know, I'm hanging out with Ivy and her baby right now. And I know this is something that Brian would love to be doing right now. And look at how beautiful Annie is growing up to be. One of Ivy's little girls from the last July. Beautiful, just like her mama. You know, I've learned so much from Brian in regards to, you know, ball pythons and their genetics, how to breed them, and just the plethora of knowledge he has with everything else. He's amazing to talk to. He's such a gentle soul and has touched the hearts of millions. You know, he is the next Steve Irwin and I feel like he has left that same void that Steve Irwin left when he unfortunately passed. I love him dearly. I really do and Brian treated us like family, still continues to treat us like family and I will continue to preach his message and make sure legacy is the best thing that he has ever done. I told Brian just the other day that I've always loved animals. Ever since I was a kid, my mom loves animals. We used to feed all the birds and the squirrels. But I didn't come here for animals. I came here for Brian. When I would watch him <laughs> in the vlog, I uh, I saw a bit of myself. You know, a guy with that listened to metal music, with tattoos that loved animals, and was positive and a go-getter. I just knew I had to be a part of it, <laughs> you know? And I would comment every single day, and he got to know me as a commenter before anything. And uh, he always commented back. If you got there early in the morning, he'd always comment back to you, and it was so special. Some kid living in New Jersey going to biology class to hear, good luck on your test today. It left an impact, and when I got the opportunity to meet him and I pitched him at Gatorland, I was like, I need to come work for you. I need to come film. Like, I believe in all the same stuff you believe in. I want to make a difference in this world. And he told me to pull up my phone and, uh, he just put his number in there and every day from then on text him in the morning and be like yo what do you got what are you filming today what do you got going on and a few months later i came out here to try out and ended up moving out here and i cannot thank brian enough for the opportunity he's given me and my family to move out on our own to pursue my dreams as an artist and a creator and being able to have a platform to share my talents. It's not an easy life to be an artist and make a living, but he gave me that ability and I will never forget that. I don't know everything the future holds, but if there's one thing that's for sure, damn sure, is that we are going to make Brian so proud. Myself, Tingle, Mike, Noah, Lori, Maria, and every single one of you is gonna make Brian so proud because we will never stop preaching the love for wildlife and we will never stop preaching the ability to inspire people to follow their dreams even in the darkest of days. It's important to pull yourself up, get out there and do the things you love. No one's gonna be able to fill the shoes that Brian left behind, but we can walk a million miles with him in our hearts. And that's exactly what we plan to do.